I love being a part of a community and with people. I think that along with CF and like staying healthy has really motivated me just to stay involved in my sports. I've done soccer at Holy Cross. I've run cross country. It's very important to stay active. She's matured beyond her years, basically. She has to understand always where she is, how she feels under every circumstance so that she doesn't get sick. It's definitely hard. I would say I take more breaks than most people. Like during our sets, I'll take a rest and like catch my breath. Yeah, it's hard sometimes when it's very go, 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 fast pace, but yeah, I have to relax a little for a second. I think that she's amazing with swimming and how she pushes herself and how she's able to control her own life. It's amazing how she overcomes everything. In the past, I've told people that I have CF and they're like, what is that? So I think it's good to bring awareness. I'm just going to talk to you guys a little about cystic fibrosis and my life with it because I was born with it. It's a respiratory and digestive disease, so I can't digest my food properly. That's a huge part of it, along with the whole lung issues. This here is probably about the number of pills I take every day. That I'm more able to get sick. I have sticky mucus in my lungs, so I cough a lot. This vest that you put on, it's almost like a life jacket, and it basically like shakes your lungs so I can then cough up all that sticky mucus and get it out. A lot of times, I think it's good for a, a group of students to sit there and listen to someone handle something so maturely, and they say, I, I don't have any problems. She uses it as, I'm gonna show people how I deal with adversity, how I overcome adversity, and how I make it worthwhile and positive in my interaction with my friends, my family, and yeah, I can become a role model for other people to aspire to. She doesn't want it to hold her back. She wants to be able to overcome it, and it's almost like it's a personal crusade. Land of the Crusaders, there you go. This is just a demonstration of me doing the shaking machine fest that I was talking about. You can see that it just buckles on my life jacket and then pulls up. I have these two tubes here, so it shakes my lungs, and then I can cough all that junky mucus out into my lungs. I do this twice a day for 20 minutes, and if I'm sick, then three times a day. And before I go to bed. It's just a part of my routine. Like, I get up earlier than most people to do it before I go to school, or I'm up later to do it. I mean, my brother, Nicholas, he has CF, so I was like, you know what, I want to be like him, so I just went for it. When we were little, he was always the one who was like, no, I'm not going to do my treatments, no, I'm not going to take my pills, but I've seen him change, and he is like, he's my biggest supporter, and he's, he's my hero. It's wonderful. I think she's got a great outlook. She comes from a very athletic family, and they instilled that early on in her, and it just helps her with her whole cystic fibrosis and trying to expand her lungs at all times. And she feels better. And the whole idea is to feel better. And if that's what sports does for her, I think that's wonderful. It's something that honestly inspires me to be how she is, because she doesn't let anything like overtake her life. And she's really strong. When I was younger, I used to always be like, what's the point? Like, why live if it's not going to live a full long life? Now I'm much more positive about it because I know there's improvements. I've realized that it's not going to control me and I get to have a good long life and healthy life as it improves every day. Nowadays, you're expected to live about 65 or older, which is because of the Trikafta medication that most CF kids are taking now, which will slow down the progression of your genes with CF. From 20, 30 years ago, that was 25, 30, 40 years of your life expectancy, so it really is growing. Everyone has their struggles, everyone has their own problems, so I really just think that it's, it's just part of me. But I don't let it control me, I say that to everyone.